Orphan Black Time. This is Season 3, Episode 2, and it is called Transitory Sacrifices of Crisis. That's a mouthful. Let's do it. Now who are you? Stage blood always pills up. Really weird. I don't like it. Girl, you are going to die. He has a very much I'm gonna make a skin coat out of you vibe. And immediately with the sex. Whoa. They showing stuff. Oh god, creepy guy! No, get out of there, girl. Um, there's another hand in the party. You should notice that. There are too many hands! Have you not noticed that? Oh, Seth, you seem so creepy. Mm-mm, check out, girl, check out. Kira's dad is also the guy that bangs the mother of dragons on Game of Thrones. It's just weird. It shrank in the rain on the way back home, so I was thinking maybe you could use it. He is so perfect. Sarah, you need to lock that down. That is a good man. Ew, don't spit on him. Those brothers have a super incest vibe going. Paul, you shifty dude. Sit down. That sounds naughty. I really want one of those headsets. Is that coming from mother or from you? Who is mother? Felix, I love you. Kasima's finding religion. I love that blanket fork. That is awesome. Felix is just like full of disposable phones. What would we do with a corpse in the ground? Whoa, Ixay on that. Come on. Don't talk about corpses at a soccer meet. Fist me. Fist me. Fist me. Fist me. Oh my god, Donnie, you're adorable. Allison's going to kill that woman. Ramon! Who's that? My former drug dealer, don't ask me about it, Donnie. That is an opportunity. Oh, Allison, what do you have? Oh my gosh, family hockey fun. They are Canadians. I miss you, Art. Cal just wants a normal family life. Sarah's chasing millions of clones, apparently. I'd do anything for Oh, you're perfect. Helena, are you okay, baby? Now I have to make a costume of her looking like that. Homegirl is getting waterboarded. That is terrifying. Holy crap! No, don't hurt her! She's pregnant. Oh, shoot. They know. Holy crap! Felix is such a mama's boy. Oh, she gets her own clone phone. Felix is stepping up. What a good brother. So are you the new Leaky? Is Allison going to bury you in her garage too? Man and up, Scott. Good for you. Are we gonna get to see like an older version of the clones who's like the actual original? Absolutely not. Sarah's like, I do what I want. And then Seth out a piece of my hair and put it in the bag. Stealing hair is one step away from skin coats. Left forearm. Picture of a two-headed horse. That's creepy. Allison, what are you doing? Donnie, you're so bro. Why are they all dressed matching? Don't doubt our stones. We have ample stuff. Donnie, shut up. This is gonna turn into weeds, isn't it? Oh, crap. Where are you? Seriously, get out of Felix's apartment. No bueno. Scorpion's back. Give her the mangoes. Where the heck are you, Elena? Next thing I know, I've got more than I can count. How many clones are there? That's not true. I don't believe Good for you, Helena. I'm like, I feel personally violated that he is in Felix's apartment. He almost found the book! Mrs. S is such a good mom. Allison, you are conniving. It's very nice that they make these decisions as a couple, like married people should do when they're buying a drug business. You really just left your door open. Cal, what are you thinking? Paul, I don't like you. War profiteers, don't hate on him. Paul's still looking up for Sarah in his weird, weird way. Does Felix just leave his apartment unlocked all the time? Because it seems like his only lock is that screwdriver. People need to set the ringer on their phones. Vibrate is like the enemy of everyone in every drama TV show. I wasn't really surprised he was hiding in the fort. I mean, they've been showing that promo since they announced this season. Cal, come to the rescue! Cast your clones, good lord. Cal, drop that boy! There we go. Cal, did you really not bring a gun with you? Just drop him with that wrench! This is getting terrifying, I don't like it. This is too intense. At least he gave her Kira back. He just unloaded into that dude's chest! Holy crap! If you wanted him to go easy, you should have shot him in the face. I thought for sure porn stash clone was gonna be around for a while. Oh my gosh. 
You know, as creepy as Scarface is, he hasn't been hurting people when he doesn't need to. I don't know if I like him or not. Where are you sending Kira? Sarah's such a good mom, but this is sad. Mm. How we find Helena and we finish this shit. Yeah. Oh, we get to see Mark again. Mark, what are you doing? Mark, what are you doing? Holy crap, he's burning his tattoo off. That looked really cool, though. Oh, that's nasty. How many bodies are they going to have to bury on this show? Episode starts with Rudy bringing some chick back to a hotel room. He starts uh, with her. Seth rolls in, towed the porn stash one, and starts touching her, and it got weird. Cal got a new apartment, and he's trying to set up, like, a nice home for Sarah and Kira. And everything's like, oh, it's perfect, but it's like, y'all are being hunted. What? Are you, don't stay in town. Then the night after that weird sexual encounter in the hotel... So, Seth and Rudy are still in the hotel the next morning. Paul shows up and puts this weird little headset on him and starts asking them questions and gauging if they're glitching. Rudy's pretty good at it. Seth kind of sucks at it. Scott is showing up at Felix's apartment where Cosima is. They're talking about how Cosima's blood work is looking really good, but they need to go to diet and ask some more questions about weird stuff. Allison and Donnie are back at the soccer field just staring across the way at that chick that she's going to try and run against. Murder in her eyes, let's just be honest. Then Ramon, her old drug dealer boy, shows up, says he's going to get out of the business, and Allison's like, I have an idea. So Sarah gets a phone call from Art. Art tells her about what happened at the hotel with the two boy clones and this one chick. He also tells her that the chick is still at the police department, so Sarah's like, I'm going to go talk to her, because I need to find out everything about these clones, because, you know, they took my sister. Back at the military compound where they have Helena, they're waterboarding her and taking samples of stuff, and then that chick rolls in and is like, she's pregnant, you gotta stop. Meanwhile, Felix is taking care of Mrs. S and telling her that she should probably get back in the game and use her contact and do stuff and try and fix the situation. Cosima and Scott go meet with the new guy who's at Dyad, I think he's like the new leaky, until someone kills him. She says she knows stuff about Project Class for clones, the guy's like, how do you know that? They're kind of like being coy about stuff. You find out that the Duncans also worked on both of them, had the original genomes for both of them, and the genomes are lost. Sarah kind of ambushes Art and meets up with the chick who was at the hotel that night. Art really doesn't want her to question her, but, you know, Sarah does what she wants. You find out that the guys got all of her information and took a hair from the chick's head, also that they have tattoos with a double-headed horse. Allison and Donnie meet up with Ramon and say that they want to take over his drug business when he goes to college, along with all of his supply and all of his contact list. Seth is just sitting out in the parking lot punching his car, and his brother calls and is like, Hey, is your brain a little messed up? And he's like, Yeah. Yeah, it's been messed up for a while, and it's getting worse. Back at the military compound, they're trying to do that weird little visor thing and ask Helena the same questions, but she keeps hallucinating about that scorpion, and is just really focused on that and the possibility of getting mangoes. The one chick in charge of the military compound pulls Helena inside, gives her some lettuce, and is like, Hey, your sister has turned you over. And Helena's like, I don't believe that. She's right. Sarah goes to meet with S. Mrs. S is like, hey, things are over your head. Just get the kid and go. Allison and Donnie meet Ramon in the parking lot, see all of his drugs, and decide to buy his business for a stupid amount of money that they can't really afford, but they're going to tap into their retirement fund to do it. Paul drops by Cal's house, has him at gunpoint, but essentially just wants him to take care of Sarah and tell Sarah to get out of town. So Sarah and Kira get back to Felix's apartment, and while they're getting ready to kind of go to bed, Rudy's in the blanket fort. You do not jump in someone else's blanket fort without permission. So Rudy grabs Kira at gunpoint and asks Sarah if Professor Duncan said anything or if he had anything of the original caster genome as far as samples or anything like that. And she's like, I don't know. Cal had been trying to call Sarah, but her phone was on vibrate, so he decides to go by the apartment. When he gets there, Seth is downstairs with a knife and trying to keep him from going upstairs, but then Seth's brain starts glitching and Seth starts freaking out, falls on the ground, and kind of seizes up. Rudy's upstairs and he hears Seth downstairs, so he backs his way to the door, then throws Kira back inside, runs downstairs, sees Seth seizing up, and shoots him! He, like, double-tapped his brother. And then he doesn't even hurt Cal, so I don't really know what to think of Rudy because he hasn't actually gone out of his way to hurt people. I mean, so far all we've seen him do is, like, Mercy kill his brother. Sarah decides to once again give Kira to Cal and have them go off and be safe somewhere. And then at the very end, they show a hotel, and Gracie's in bed, but Mark is in the bathroom. She goes and asks him why he's not in bed, and he says, just go away. 
inside the bathroom, he wraps up a towel, puts it in his mouth, gets a blowtorch, and starts burning the tattoo off, and it was so hardcore. And then credits. This show is freaking awesome! So what did you guys think? If I forgot anything, or if you just wanted to talk about it, drop me a comment. Don't forget to do the things. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys later, so until next time.